Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho, ay Pancho. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. Weenie Hut Jr. discretion is advised. Now, if you guys missed it, a quick little summary. Must be Cindy's beefing with her mom. Allegedly, it started because Must be Cindy was selling some aprons and she came on the show to explain and expose and this happened. This all started a couple of days ago. I want to say sometime last week because um, I had launched aprons because yes. my girls on my live had been requesting it, you know, because I've been doing like the whole cooking thing. They're like, oh, Cindy, you should launch aprons. And they know very well that the few times that my mom has been live with me, um, you know, she would always say that she had aprons. She would always promote herself and say like, oh, I saw weight loss of, she was even promoting yeah. the scrub. And I would let her, you know, I've never been like a, a hater towards my mom, like towards her husband. I know the girls have seen that. And I mean, you know, but she made it seem like, I took her mandilas from her and like went to go get some made for myself. Yeah. Which is insane to me. Um, hearing everything that she even said was like insane to me because I never wanted to come on here and talk about like who my mom really has been to all of us, like since we were little. You know, I never wanted to come on here and expose just how, like how she does not want to reflect on who she's been as a mom. Like she brought up the whole my dad situation. Yeah. And said, that my poor dad and that he's like um you know that he's blind and that i ignore him and that i block him and to be very honest with you i'm in my right to do so like i'm in my right to not ever talk to my dad again no matter what situation he is in his life he left yeah. me my entire life you know like i'm still there for him like i still have to uh, like deal with that trauma and like do you have a question for me? Let me see. You asked me a question. Well, well, just to start off with, so basically, like, my, my whole chat was a little bit confused here. So it all started just because, like, she got upset and started exposing everything because of the whole apron situation. That's, what, like, what really led the fire? Yeah. Um, because, she, so she texted me, and let me read you the text messages when she texted me. Yeah. She texted me about the whole Mandila stuff, and then she said... Um, de veras en vez de ayudarme también me haces competencia con los mandiles ay Dios mío hija hasta donde has llegado siempre me quieres tumbar en vez de apoyarme Dios te bendiga porque me haces tanto daño and I told her para el sol sale todos madre like I didn't even tell her in a bad way like nothing you know because I started doing um, Facebook lives and then she started doing Facebook lives too with me and created her page and everything and yes. then I was the one that started doing like the whole selling of like weight loss stuff y todo eso and then she, you know, started doing that on her lives too. And I never like took it as like competition or like, oh, why is my mom doing the same things that I'm doing? Like for me, I I've always been, and everybody knows, just very like happy for everyone, you know? Like and my mom used to make hella money off her shit and I'd be fucking happy because I would do it too. Like we had two different platforms, two different audiences always. It, it The thing about this is, Pancho, that there's so much to the story, like from when it starts all the way up until now that it's like, I don't even know if my thoughts are like all together, you know, but yeah. So, so then also I saw that she was mentioning that she, you had let her borrow money. Mm -hmm. I had let her borrow money um, because she had told me and my sister that she was like ready to sign for a house. She was like, I'm going to buy this house. Like I'm ready to sign for it. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. And my sister was the one that had, and this is how fucking sickening it is. Like my sister had told her like that she would let her borrow the money. And I called my mom and I told her mom, don't, don't ask my sister for it. You know, like she, it, she's gonna figure herself out first like she needs to like figure herself like i said it not maliciously not in a bad way but i know my sister has been wanting to buy a house and she's had that conversation with me this entire time so yeah. i was like why not let my sister do that and then i can help you out if i can mom and so she was like ready to sign you know she had said and i was going to hawaii um and i took my whole entire family you know it's like taxis and everything so I had let her borrow the money and then a few, like, I want to say a few days before I left, um, I found out how much I was paying like up to the IRS and everything. And like, dude, trips are expensive. So yes. I texted her, like, this is how nice the whole chat was. I texted her and I was like, mom, I was like, si no van a firmar en estos días, I was like, me mandas para atrás the money. I was like, ya que me regrese, me viene un cheque y te los doy ya cuando estés lista. I was like, so I can use them for Hawaii. I was like, pensé que lo ocupabas luego, luego. I was like, but on the 15th, I get a check and then I'll give it back to you. Yeah. And then she's like, no, I, I am ready to sign. She's like, I'm just waiting for a paper. And then um, and then she was like, but she was still back and forth between what house she was going to buy and all of this. 
And then I was like, I know mom, I was like, but I thought you were gonna sign like right now in these dates. I was like, if you're not ready like these days, let me go to Hawaii. And then when I come back and I get my check, like I'll send it to you, you know? Yeah. And she literally made it seem like I told her that it was because I didn't have money, that it was because I needed in, like that I wanted to get it back from her maliciously. Like it was just kind of like, have my back, I'll have your back when I come back type shit, you know? Yeah. But the thing with my mom, when my sister's showering and she's gonna come right now, okay. the thing with my, mom, with my mom is like, there's, it's just, it's a lot. Like it's, 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 it's entirely way too much. And I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I even want to begin to like say, well, why don't you just kind of like, instead of adding more fuel to the fire, just kind of like uh, debunk some of the things that she was saying. Like, uh, what was the whole thing about her throwing? Well, I mean, she asked you for money. But what was I saw a video of her throwing money on a, tre on a treadmill. Yeah, so, what was that about? I don't know. Like she, I, I guess people were telling her that she was envious of me and this and that. And, and she's like, I'm not envious of her. She's like, look it. And then she went and grabbed all the money and she fucking threw it all over the place. And she was like, I have it. Like, I have money myself. I don't need from anybody, which I thought was complete, like, it's just embarrassing, you know, because I get it. Like I get comments get to you and I get like you are upset at them, but like doing something like that, it just shows like the type of person that my mom is. Like it just shows like the arrogance and like she, my mom has a lot of hate in her heart towards everyone. And the saddest thing is that like, we literally have been like this like our entire life, but it hasn't just been me. Like it's my sister, it's my brothers, it's my brother's partners. Like it's literally all of us, you know, right now, everyone's distant from my mom. Like it's not even just me. So she sits there and pretends and acts like it's just me and my sister when it's literally the entire family. Like my mom has this really, really bad obsession with her sister. Like, and she feels like her sister came and like ruined her life, ruined her everything, ruined her relationships with her kids but doesn't like to reflect on the fact that like she's ruined him herself, you know, yeah. just with her reality and like just the things that she does, like, you know, she started talking about how me and my sister don't want her in our lives and how we always talk about, but she doesn't talk about the things that have happened like in between, you know what I mean? And like yeah. just everything that she's put us through, you know, and, and. So, so what's the beef with um, her, her sister? Like, cause what's the whole issue that she has with her sister that kind of affects you guys in that sense? my my her sister my aunt, yeah, yeah. Um, they've always beefed since we were young like they've always just they were good and then they weren't good and then they were good oh. and then they, they weren't good and looking back at it like my mom just has never like loved her like my mom has never loved her sister my mom has just never wanted to be good with her sister and my aunt probably at some point like didn't want to be good with her either but the thing is and something that i have always told my mom is that like there's nothing that she has done to you or taken from you for you to take your complete happiness away from yourself. You know what I mean? Like, like they haven't gone through anything that you can genuinely say, like, fuck, everybody needs to stay the fuck away from that app because of this, you know? Yeah. Just been like bigger back and forth. Like, I don't know. There's just some relationships with siblings that are like that. They're very like, it's just, it's, it's an ugly situation. And my mom has always, when we were little, like she would like, nos privaba, you know, and she would say like, um, you guys can't go see her. Like you guys can't talk to her. Like you guys need to stay the fuck away from her. Like if we would, if we would bring her up, like my mom would get really, really pissed and like yes, see. And that's how she had us used to our whole entire life. And I think me and my sister got to a point where we were like, we're grown now. Like we, if you're not talking to her, that's on you. And my mom has never been able to accept that. Like my mom has, she wants us to kind of look at the hate that she has towards her sister and then let that like define the relationship that we're gonna have with my aunt and we did that for a long time like if my yeah. mom took my aunt off we fucked my aunt off you know and i think we just got to the point where like my aunt's not really that bad of a fucking person for my mom to hate her that fucking much like she was literally on live not too long ago and if you guys go back and watch my mom's lives like take a moment to go back and watch her lives she's always throwing mad shade at me mad shade at my sister mad shade at my aunt like every yeah. live, every video you know and i got to a point where it's like it's tiring because people come and tell you like time after time after time after time like your mom said this your mom said this your mom said this and from the very beginning like i never wanted these problems to come on social media i never wanted it to get to this point but you know ever since you even posted her like she's the one that started like going live and saying that her kids didn't love her and that you know her kids like neglected her and that her kids did this and that but she doesn't reflect on the why and all of the things that have happened, like for mm. our relationship to be like this. You know, I'm gonna tell you a couple. Like, I'm gonna literally tell you guys a couple of things just so you guys can understand why I was so distant from my mom. There was one instance where 
it was I think Christmas, um, and we were all there. It was me, my sister in law, Bonnie, my my sister, all of us. We were all drinking, having a good time, and I started saying something about like something along the lines of like, oh, um, I look I look like my dad, or I'm just like my dad. And then my mom said something like, oh, but you're like me too. And I said, oh no, but I'm more like my dad. And she started talking mad smack about my dad and why I love my dad and why I was so like obsessed with my dad and that I, I shouldn't love my dad that much because he was never in my life and what about her and she literally got up left um like she just literally got up and left right and then comes back inside because she forgot to take her food and like her like her trays and everything that she had brought literally in front of everybody just knocks the whole fucking christmas tree down like to the fucking ground there was another instance where in front of my ex-boyfriend's family, um, we were, I think it was like a birthday or something. We were sitting there. And again, it was a conversation about my dad. And I remember I said something like, I remember I said something about my dad, like kind of praising my dad, you know, like, oh, my, my dad's this, my dad's that or whatever. Yeah. And she got mad at it. And I remember she literally grabbed me by the fucking hair in front of them, yanked me and pulled me and was like, I don't know, did my mom's just like a very, very, very toxic person and i don't think she realizes it you know like yeah i don't think she realizes everything that she's put us through from the start like i remember phone calls um of her with people like when i was younger i was younger and i was always doing crazy shit you know i had a boyfriend here had a boyfriend there whatever and yes. i remember like always hearing her like on phone calls with people telling people like yeah and you know if she like Si, um, si no para, like, le van a pegar el puto fija igual que su papá y va, va, va a acabar como su papá. And, like, literally would say that, like, about me to everybody. Like, uh -huh. and my mom now, like, sits and has phone calls, conversations with, like, all her supporters, dude. And I know some of them are watching, like, and she tells them things that we've been through as a family, like, things that have happened between us. Yeah. Um, like, she just holds conversations with them all the time and, like, lets them in on our life. Like, it's just it, wait so it, she she tells like some of your supporters like one-on-one -on -one what's going on one-on-one -on -one phone calls like one-on-one -on -one phone calls yeah. my niece has witnessed it you know like and has told us and and i remember i think there was one time where like i hate to say this because i know that that poor little girl is gonna get in trouble for this yeah. like there's so much to the fucking story and i think right now i'm so angry that i'm not telling you the way that i really want to you yeah. know but one time I, my my niece like recorded her and she was on the phone with one of her fucking supporters telling them like yeah this and this and this is going on with cindy and she's this and she's that and da, 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 da. and i've always known about those conversations you know because either they'll tell on her or like we know because of my niece uh -huh. and that's another thing too like every time that she has issues with me and my sister it's always like my niece that gets the fucking hit like it's always like you can't fucking talk to them. You can't go over there and see them. Um, don't even fucking ask me about them. Like that li poor little girl lives fucking hell in that house. Like lives real fucking hell in that house. Like she's just always getting like the shit end of the stick. If my mom is upset with us, like she gets it. Like you know, and, and there's so much to even that with her that I'm like, mom, you know why we're like this with you? Because she knows how she's been with my her entire life. That that set us away from her. She knows how she's been about my aunt her whole this whole entire time that that's what set us away from her like there's just there's so much to the fucking story that so is that the sister in the back with the pink hair hello nice to meet you so she has beef with the the sister as well apparently like everything started where she said she's going to talk about what's going on with her and my sister and uh, apparently half of the fucking video was about me Damn. And, that, and that goes to show like that the issue is not even with me like, my issue with my mom is not with me like the issue with my mom is with everybody you know like and to hear her say like oh my daughters are dead to me like we've never done anything to her for her to literally feel like that if anything she's done shit to us you know what i mean like her the things that she's done have pushed us away from her like to a point of like, I think that there's just no returning from it. You know, like my niece, for example, the way she's treated her, like her entire life about her weight. You know, uh -huh. that little girl, we went to Hawaii. She wouldn't even fucking eat a burger. She would order salads and she would be fasting and she'd be doing shit like that because my mom has always taunted her about her fucking weight. And we always saw that and we always talked smack to my mom about it. You know, like 
She wouldn't let her eat certain things. There was literally one time, Poncho, and I'm going to tell you guys, and I feel so fucked up for saying it, but I want you guys to fucking know why shit is the way that it is with my mom. I was at my mom's house with Bertha, with Iska, with Reina, and we were all ordering food. We were all ordering food, and we had ordered, like, chicken, um, like, fucking chicken tenders and shit. And we had ordered some for my niece. And my mom literally comes out of the room, and she's like, Ella no va a comer eso. Ella no va a comer eso. She's like, no, 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 no. Mira la como esta. Ella no va a comer eso. And I was all of them doing it. I was like, bro, like, are you fucking kidding me? And she literally told my sister, Maribel, quítale eso. Y dale cereal. So then she took it away from her in front of everybody. And they're all my witnesses that they saw that. And she took it away from her and she, t- she told her to give her cereal. So then she gives her cereal, right? And then my niece is sitting in front of Karina. She's sitting in front of Karina. And then she's like, um, no, muévela de ahí. No se le vaya a antojar. Muévela de ahí. Vete para el cuarto. And she literally picked her up and took her to the fucking room in front of fucking everybody, dude. Like, that's just a little bit for you to know how she is. Like, that little girl would come to our house and we would see her, like, fucking dingy. Like, she would literally go to my pantry and grab fucking bags of Cheetos and put them under her shirt. And I was like, why are you hiding it? Like, why are you hiding yeah. it? And she would be like, because, like, I don't want to get in trouble for eating this. Like, I don't want to get in trouble for eating this. Like, broke her fucking tablet. Everything that we've given her, she's told her, why do you ask them for things? Why are you why are begging. you begging? When we were going to Hawaii, like, literally between when this happened, when I asked my mom for the money back and everything. Yeah. My niece told my sister that she told her, like, why are you begging them for things? Why are you asking them to buy you things? We can buy them yourselves. Like, but then, yes. and then turn around and, like, look at us and, 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 and pretend like there's no issue. Like, oh, hijas, como están? Y quien sabe But then go and feed my niece shit like that, you know? And, like. Or, or how about that she told her like don't don't start with your shit because I will you will not fucking go with them on that trip. Oh yeah. Yes. You know, yes. and it's just like so many like little things that you know, of course my mom's not gonna talk about any of that. I mean split over a little bit. Of course she's not gonna talk about any of that, right? She only talks about shit that's gonna make her look better in front of everybody. You know, we're always the fucking problem with her, like the relationship, you know, we're we're bad daughters, we're ungrateful. And no, it's not that we're ungrateful. It's not any of that stuff. It's just like from the very beginning when she started on Facebook, I would always tell her. And the way she was expressing herself that I that I told her, you know, no, I don't want to go eat with you. I've never fucking said that to her. And I will say it to her fucking face. I've never said that to her. But um, ugh, I got sidetracked. Um, from the very beginning, uh, let me go back. From the very beginning, I would always tell her, like, mom, like, don't talk about our personal stuff. And, and me you, too. You know, I've always fucking told her that. So many girls, you know, want me to go live. I don't want to go live because I'm so much more private with everything, you know. And and I would always tell her. And I tell her too. And, you know, so she could tell you. I've always told them, like, don't talk about our personal stuff. The people don't need to know, like, anything, you know, of what's going on or if there's any issues. Like, nobody needs to know. Keep it between you. Like, and I would always tell her, like, stop it with the negativity, stop it with the drama, you know? Like, people only want to watch you because there's any drama, I would tell my mom. And, and it all got twisted that I, I told her get off of Facebook because now, you know, I think I'm the shit, blah, blah, blah. Like, no, I just wanted them to, her especially, you know, to not talk about her personal problems. Yeah. And it just, it felt like it was, like, the only way, like, you know, because... Her alone, my mom, she would already pull 2,500 views on Facebook because people genuinely wanted to watch her. But when she started with her drama, talking about everybody everybody. envies her, my fia doesn't like her, her body, body, everybody envies my body, like here in the Coachella Valley, like nobody, you know, wants to be my friend because they're jealous because I have a good body. And I would always tell her, like, you're going to drive your followers away. And she has, that's what I told her in the text messages, you know how she said that I had said, like, oh, um... Um, you know how she had said like, um, um, oh, and, 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 oh my God, I, I'm so sidetracked too, cause it's just too much. No, I understand. And Chad, just so everyone knows, because I feel like some people are saying that you're kind of all over the place, but I kind of agree. I kind of know why is because you're kind of upset and angry. So you kind of like have so much at once that you don't even know where to start. But I, I have a question for you. Uh, so you, so it's, um, three more kids. So how many siblings you got, are all the siblings against the mom right now? The thing is, is that we've all had issues with my mom, even my brother. Like, we've yeah. all had issues with my mom. Like, even my brother that I was texting yesterday was telling me, like, this is why I stay the fuck away because she's so draining with all of the fucking drama. Like, we're all she fucking talks about. Like, we're, it's, 
she's already implanted it in her head so deeply that we don't love her, that we don't want to be around her. Who the fuck doesn't want to be around their mom? Who the fuck doesn't want to be with their mom? But when your mom is constantly causing turmoil, your mom's constantly freaking just wanting to be toxic. Your mom has this crazy obsession over her sister and is always talking about her sister ruining her and damaging her. Go back, watch all her videos. You will literally see in every single video, she just has to throw shade. She just has to talk about that. And I always tell her, mom, you have it so fucking good. You have all your fucking kids. You have all your grandkids. Like your sister doesn't like she has a son in jail, you know, like for the rest of his fucking life. Like, and you have it all and you, you steer away from it because of your hate that you have towards her. That's like so fucking ugly. And that has driven me to not want to be around my mom because you don't want to be a person like that. That's just always talking about the fact that she hates this person so much and the fact that this person has ruined her life and watch her videos go back. You will learn like, that's all she talks about. And if that's all she talks about online, that's all she talks about with us. Like it gets to her. want to go and have a conversation. Hey, how are you? She's always talking about money. She's always talking about how she doesn't have money, how she's not making money. How like, that doesn't always have to be the conversation. Like the conversation is always money with my mom. Like it's always money. And I never told my mom not to go to my party. Like when she said, oh, she told me not to go. I literally told her mom, I invited my aunt. I invited everybody. Like, and I hope that you can come and be cordial and be good. Like, I know you have issues, but you guys can sit at different tables. Yeah. Seeing my aunt over her, it's just me choosing everyone. Like your problems don't have to be my problems. You know? They just don't. Like, and my mom's problems that she has with my aunt are like from years back and she just like holds on to that shit and I don't know. Yeah, but she's also the type of person where if she has a problem with so and so, you need to have a problem with that person. Yeah. If you if she's not talking to this person, you can't talk to that person. You know? Like she needs she involves everybody and she wants everybody if she's fighting with this one person, she wants everybody to be on the same page as her and God forbid you disagree with her. God forbid she so has she always been uh, like a narcissist? Because I saw like a, a part of the video where she was like, she kept just uh, emphasizing cuando me muera, cuando me muera. Is that like something she does often? She's always, 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 always. Dude, she used to kick us, she used to kick me out of the house and say, I never want to see you again. And don't ever come cross paths in my house again. No te vuelvas a parar en mi casa cuando yo me muera ni se me acerque. And those words have been told to us from my mom. I can't even tell you how many times. Mm -hmm. Cuando yo me muera, and she said it on the live today, which is my living fucking proof. Like, yeah. Like, literally, like, her words for her kids have always been so fucking ugly, you know? Like, my sister, I'm sorry to fucking say it. Like, my sister that's sick, that has her seizures and all of that, she wants to talk about the fact that we don't want to have a close relationship with her, that we never invite her, that this and that. My sister goes based, my sister's like a kid. My sister goes based off what my mom says, what my mom does. It's like a little kid, you know, if my mom doesn't like someone, like my sister just goes along with it. And yeah. she's implanted it in my sister's head already so much that we don't like my sister, that my sister kind of like, it, it's such a barrier. Yeah, you know, around her, like, she doesn't even talk to us. She'll sit in the couch, you know, giving us her back, like the entire time. She just, yeah. but I get it, like she has her, she has her mental, like things that she has going on and it's respected like oh my sister has to be a certain way but tell my mom not to forget how she treated her her whole fucking life you know like she wants to talk about she's been such a good mother her whole life no dude no because my sister's whole entire life my mom fucking sat there while my sister was in one room the other room the other room on the phone with people whoever the fuck came over whoever she was whoever was in front of her Es una puta loca retardada. Es una puta loca retardada. Like, dude, my sister has dealt with that her whole entire fucking life. My mom needs to know who the fuck she really has been to us and reflect on that because we sat here and I sat here and kept my respect towards her the entire time, giving her chances after chances after chances. Mom, like, okay, maybe this time it's going to be different. Maybe this time she's going to fucking change. My mom is never going to change. Like, my mom is always been, like, she says that I'm a narcissist, but yet I have everybody on my fucking side. You know what the fuck you? I can call my aunts, my uncles from my dad's side. I can call my cousins. I could call my tias from her side. I could call all my siblings. I could call my sister-in-laws. And everybody will tell you who my mom really fucking is. Like, and why all of these people don't come around her, don't talk to her, don't come near her. Because she's nothing but negativity. Everything that comes out of my mom's mouth is nothing but negativity. Negative. Like, it's always talking, and it's draining. It's always, 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 always talking about somebody different, you know? 
Like, that's the reason why we stay away. Like, do you think that, you know, we all have our own stuff going on? She has her stuff going on. I have my stuff going on. I have a lot of fucking shit going on with, like, my health, you know, health problems and stuff like that. So do you really think, like, that at the end of the day and on top of everything that we have going on, we want to go sit somewhere where they're going to drain the fucking little energy that we have left? Like, nobody wants Mm -hmm. to do that. And that's all my mom does. There's this lady that watches her. Her name's Mary Yepes. My sister had something going on with, and we told them, so I'm going to tell them. She had something going on with her boob that she kept it super personal, private, never told anybody about it. Like, never. Like, she didn't want to tell anybody about it. And this lady hit my my sister up and showed her screenshots of my mom, like, talking to her, right? And, and my And she literally told her, like, si, a la Lola se le está pudriendo, la, like, her boob or whatever, like, telling her details of Lola's sickness. My sister came home that day threw her fucking phone on the fucking ground and started fucking crying. Because if you're going to tell somebody something that your daughter has going on, you're not going to sit there and fucking use those ugly ass fucking words of like, se le está and she even had, correct me if I'm wrong, but I know I heard her in a video say something along the lines of like, you fucking deserve that. Like she, uh, so she said it, the lady sent me, I have screenshots by the way. Yeah. And that's what I was saying. The minute she started talking about me and my personal stuff, when I have nothing to fucking do with whatever they have going on, I have the screenshots of that lady that where she sent me that, you know, and she said that that my mom said that uh, I'm gonna say it in Spanish because I think she typed it in Spanish. Yeah. She said it along the lines to se le está se le está pudriendo la chichi y es lo que se merece por lo perra que ha sido toda su vida um for the por la mala hija que es um. So, eso es su karma de ella. Dios le está cobrando eso y eso se merece y más. Mm-hmm. Wait, she said that's about you? Yeah. And it's her phone number yeah, her and phone it's number, her words. The lady, when the lady, when the lady told me, I was like, still in disbelief. I'm like, you know, but out of a thousand, out of a million things that could be going on, nobody's going to fucking hit the target right in the fucking bullseye with something so personal that nobody but my sister, my aunt, her man's mom because they were all there while i went through it Mm -hmm. you know nobody's gonna hit the bullseye with something so personal like that and i was like i still i todavía yo de tonta y de pendeja i was like i don't fully believe her and she's like i have the calls and i said well how do i know that it's my mom she's like let me let me remove her name from the contact so that i could send you a screenshot with her fucking number and you could fucking see it. And, it and sure enough, mom's. it was my mom's fucking number. And that same lady also, my my, she showed us screenshots, which we have, of my mom telling her, send me that picture of Cindy and the kid all dressed in, in black. Mm-hmm. She was like, send me a picture of them all dressed in black because I'm going to do some type of fucking witchcraft on her. Mm-hmm. And that the lady was like, why why do I need to send it to you? And that she said, because I need somebody to give it somebody to me for need, me to do this. Yeah, and I have those screenshots. This is the same lady where she told me all of that. And even after all of this, Pancho, like, we still gave my mom a fucking chance. All this happened that we're talking about before we stopped talking to her for an entire year and a half. And then, yes, she ended up at the hospital, which she didn't want to tell us about. Me and my sister hopped on the phone. And, you know, they were like, mom didn't want us to tell you that she's in the hospital, but she's in the hospital. She almost had a, a heart attack. And, dude, that's your mom. Like, at the end of the day, no matter everything that we're telling you right now, like, that's your mom. You know, you're of course, you're going to stop what you're fucking doing. So... In the middle of Karina's birthday event, like I literally had to go face my mom, which we weren't ready to talk to her. If I could be honest with you, we weren't ready to do our life. Like it was so fucking uncomfortable because we weren't ready, and I don't think we ever will be ready. And we saw her, and she hugged us, and she cried, and you know, and we cried with her. And she said that that we looked like we didn't even want to be there. Tell her to tell you how she was holding our hand so fucking tight, and how much she was fucking crying with us, and how tight she fucking hugged us, and how tight we fucking hugged her. She doesn't say that. She paints us out to be these malicious, horrible fucking daughters. Fuck no, dude. Like we've always been fucking good to my mom. Like, but my mom has never wanted to accept that fucking love because she has this barrier over her, and she just thinks everyone envies her. Like, the fact that she literally texted me and said. Why the fuck would I envy my mom? Like, why? You know, that she said that the mandiles, sister, you're my witness. When she brought the mandiles, yes, I told her, mom, you, let's let's build you a website. Let's build you a website because you, you can't have all these girls sending you like cat, CAs like on TikTok yeah. because you can get bananas. Yo le dije eso. But she doesn't share that. And I said, 
you can't be doing that, you know, not on TikTok like you do on Facebook. Let's get your website. But in between that time, there's things that happen with my niece that can also do. And I even told her, like, maybe we could do some mandilas together. I never told her you have to pay me oh, a certain yeah. percentage. I, I if I, I never told her, like, oh, you have to pay me a certain percentage if you sell any of yours. I told her none genuinely. That, none of that was ever said. And I'm so glad I didn't do business with her because, dude, the, like, people like that don't deserve it. I never told her, mommy. Why don't why don't we go get like in bulk, you know, and then we can like work together. We'll go half on it. And my sister's my witness. We'll go half on it. I said, and then, you know, you could just give me a, a little percentage. It doesn't even have to be anything crazy for us to do something together. I never told her if you come on my live and you sell on my live, you have to give me a percentage. I never no, fucking said no, that. No. And I never got her fucking mandilas and used them to copy her mandilas. Like they're two complete different things. I have my merch line. My girls asked me for aprons. My mom has had aprons for three fucking years. Like we can it. do the same things, you know? My I literally told my girls earlier, my two uncles, my dad's brothers, they both have bakeries in Palm Springs a street away from each other. Mm -hmm. They've had them for over 20 years. They do the same thing. They're not competing with each other. They're not fucking calling each other envidiosos. We can't do the same thing. We're on social media. Of course, we're going to wind up doing the same fucking things. Social media, everyone does the same things. You know what I mean? A lot yeah. of people do freaking content. A lot of people drop merch. A lot of people do this. A lot of people do that. As long as we're not stepping on each other's toes and launching things over each other, that's different. That's completely mm -hmm. different, which I didn't do. Like She's mm -hmm. had them for three years. Hers are like just general Loteria ones. Mine were like, you know, with things printed on them, like different colors, different everything. You no, know, my mom's are more, her mamitas are more like characters, uh, football teams, basketball teams, you know. And hers are, it's the same. It was the same. Know? And it was something that I dropped genuinely because I am into cooking. Like, I didn't just wake up and say, oh, my mom's doing this, so I'm going to go fucking do it. Because again, Pancho, yes, I started doing live videos and I was already doing good. And then, yes, my mom popped up. And then, yes, we blew up together. Okay. But I was the one that pushed her to fucking do that. I started selling my detox. I started selling with Karina Lily. I put her on Karina Lily. She had a code with Karina Lily. And then yeah. she decided to go and part ways wow. and go with mm -hmm. Vida Divina. And then she started selling Vida Divina. I never fucking saw my mom as a competition or why is she competing with me? Because that's my mom as family. You just don't have to have that fucking mentality. Like, again, as long as you're not stepping on each other's fucking toes, you can do the same things and succeed, you know? Yeah. And and like I always told her, you know, in the industry that you guys are in, like, like she brought it up first. A lot of people are going to wind up doing the same thing. And it's okay because every person has their own platform every person has their own supporters their own viewers you know the sun shines for everybody literally everybody yeah and that's one thing that my mom has never been able to like stand no. you know because i remember and i'm gonna fucking say this and i know she's gonna get pissed but so many times i remember she would be live i don't know if i happened to be there with her or i was here with this one um y decía, sí, siempre se tiene que meter al en vivo cuando yo estoy en vivo para tumbarme mis vistas, para quitarme mis muchachas que están viendo. Like, bro, no, it doesn't fucking work that way. That was always an issue. You know, that's always been an issue. She always fucking brought And that if you up. guys have watched my mom and us from those Facebook days, you know, she would hop on the live and she would be like, ay, parece que unas están muertas de hambre, que no pueden, ya mejor me voy a salir, muchachas, ya mejor me voy a salir porque no pueden, like, when we were good, in the moments when we were on good terms, like she would do shit like that. She would text me and be like, why are you going to go live? Or, or oh, why did you go live while I'm You know, live? like, yeah, like, why did you go live when I'm live? Or like, just things like that. And it was always like a competition from the start with my mom. Never with me towards her. I would always tell her, mom, you have your own audience. Like, you have your own girls. Like, dude, sometimes she would be live and she would hit four, five, six thousand views. I did tell her, you would drop that on your own because nobody wants to watch a person that's always like, y me envidian, y mira chicas el cuerpo, y me envidian, y me envidian, y me envidian. That's the word that she uses in every single live and tell me if I'm fucking lying, you guys. Every live. Y las putas envidiosas, y las perras envidiosas, y las putas envidiosas, y la like, it's always the same shit with her. So it's like, who really is the problem here, mom? Like, you or me? I never wanted to come on here and tell you guys shit that we've gone through since we were little, but she started bringing up that I I don't want my sister here started bringing up that we're dead to her started bringing up like the way she told the story she told it beautifully for you guys to be like oh cindy's fucked up oh, and yes girls are bitches and like i told you guys i'm very fucking entitled to fucking feel like i don't want to talk to my dad sometimes it's fucking heavy it's fucking heavy my dad wasn't in my life my whole life and all of a sudden my dad got sick and then 
got forced on my life because I'm his only daughter, that's hard to fucking deal with. That is so fucking hard to deal with. There's people who don't even fucking talk to their parents ever for fucking leaving them. At least oh, I, I still I try, you know? And my whole life, she would always tell me, ¿Por qué le mandas y por qué le das si fue un puto perro que nomás te dejó y nunca ni un puto par de zapatos te dio? And now that you're mad at me, and all of a sudden you want to go live and say, oh, trata sus papás bien mal, you fucking treat me bad first. Like, you've been treating me bad since I was a little fucking girl, you know? Now that I'm grown, now I can fucking defend myself. Now I can stay the fuck away from you, and you can't fucking handle that. Because since I was yeah. a little fucking girl, it was always maltrato after maltrato after maltrato. Like, always, always, dude, since I can fucking remember, she always talked about our fucking bodies. She always talked about the fact that we were fucking, you know, big and don't be eating this and don't be eating that. And por eso están todas putas asquerosas y por eso tienen esos brazotes. Y it's like, it's a lot. Like, oh, yeah. it is a lot. And when I first started the video, I think I was all over the place, but I think I'm finally getting to where I wanted to get with the whole story, dude. Yeah. It's fucking hard. Yeah. It's hard to face the world and talk about shit like this. It's like, it's, I, dude, I want to knock my head in the wall and be like, bitch, you're lying. Like, this is not happening. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So I got, I've, I've, uh, going backtracking a little bit, did, uh, to the sister back. What's your name back there? Pink hair. Sorry. No, no. Okay, nice to meet you. So did you ever confront your mom about those uh, screenshot messages that she was saying about you? Yes, and what? I, I confronted her. I confronted her almost immediately. And, you know, she had the audacity to tell me that uh, her words, puta vieja perra, está mintiendo, like I never said that, you know, and still, still, like even after I told her, like, please don't talk about my personal stuff, like nobody knows. She did a fucking live what was it the next day mm -hmm. the next day after i confronted her did a live and she starts talking about my fucking business bro that's still nobody fucking knew and she's like mm -hmm. first of all don't call me la lola i'm your daughter why do you have to refer to me as la i mean yeah. i'm still bro like you know she's all Puta vieja. Le habló a mi hija la lola y le dijo que yo dije on the live Que se le está pudiendo, the same thing I already told yeah. you. Que se le estaba pudiendo la chichi, que yo me alegraba por lo que le estaba pasando, but I never said that. So she repeated it like on the yeah, live she after she told her. Now like, she oh. had, she had like 3,000 people watching her that day. And I kid you not, I got like over a hundred fucking DMs of people asking me like. Damn, okay. So also the, the whole, um, the whole witchcraft thing. So she was is she into witchcraft or she was just trying to really do like la maldad for you guys i'm gonna be so honest with you brutally because i don't feel like there's any going back with our relationship no, with my mom like at all ever yes my mom is very much it's something she always talks about it's something she always fucking talks mm -hmm. about go back and watch your videos like go back and watch your videos it's all she talks about she literally just said it in like two videos ago how do the words go down to the t to something that she told a follower that the follower sent screenshots to us of. Mm -hmm. how does it fall down to the very t you know what yeah. i mean like yes my mom is into that shit yeah. like it's and so then, fucking scary and then you know what else she said so you know still following that same conversation yeah um, that lady said that um you know so that my mom so she i apparently she had a fallout with my mom and that's the reason why she was reaching out because she wanted somebody to tell my mom to stop to leave her alone and I said, I'm not going to sit here and talk bad about my mom to you. Like, I don't care what you just sent me. You yeah. know, I got what you said, you know, and I'm sorry that my mom feels that way about me and, you know, whatever. And I have the screenshots and I will fucking share them if I have to. But she told me that my mom, you know, had said that that I've been such a bad person like my entire life that I that she was going to do witchcraft or something to that lady and that she had told that that she told my mom that that she had done something to me already because i needed to pay for her that i needed to pay for the way that she is with my mom because apparently she only listens to me damn that's crazy i'm sorry that happened to you miss lola um so then also going back a little backtrack uh because we were kind of going too fast on the topics here so she had a heart attack that she kept a secret from you guys she didn't keep it a secret when she was going through it she told my like my brothers my both my brothers like don't tell her don't tell them like i don't want them to know and no, she told audrey too she oh, told and my, my niece. niece and she told my brothers that she wanted us that she didn't want us at the hospital and that okay. for them not to let us know that she was in the hospital 
oh, and that's okay. just gone through what you went through. Okay, understood. And then I have to ask this question because I see it here people keep spamming the same thing. I don't, I'm not really too up to date, but what's this whole about like Avani? Who's Vani? That's my sister in law. Um, and we have literally no beef. Like me and her are good. I can call her right now. Don't involve her in something that there's yeah. just okay. like, nothing going on with her, you know. Okay. Um, she has literally told everybody numerous times, like, I don't want drama, leave me out of it. And I'm not even naming my brothers or things that she's gone through my mom with my brothers. Yeah. Okay for that same reason because i feel like if there's something that anybody wants to talk about like you're gonna go talking about it and me and her good like good as fuck solid as fuck and people just need to like i feel like people are wanting to um like maybe where there isn't any you know yes and me and her are good like we're good and keep her out of this because we're talking about my mom yeah. okay good sorry i just had to ask just because people kept spamming here okay so anything else that, that you saw in the video that there was uh, kind of lies that she was saying? I was only able to uh, capture like the last 40 minutes because she was going on for like an hour and a half. But I is there any, wanna, anything else in, in particular that she said that was a lie? I want to uh, bring up, um, she started saying that ever since I got back, that I took my nephew from her uh, because oh, yeah. she, she she thinks that, I don't know, I, I honestly like, she thinks that my sister the way that she grabbed all this money you know she thinks that that i'm here with my sister because she gives money. me piles and piles and piles and piles of fucking money i will show anybody my fucking bank accounts and i will say this okay because there's a lot of people too that say that i'm here with my sister because of everything that she gives me my sister doesn't give me shit okay and if yeah. i want to that fucking person, I would be everything from her no, because people think that I'm here living off of her. No, bro. Every single fucking thing that my sister comes out with, collabs with companies, I fucking buy it. Mm -hmm. I buy it with my fucking money. I can fucking show anybody my fucking bank accounts. My money is my money that I fucking work hard for. I, you know, on top of my disability that I that I get, like, but that's nobody's fucking business. But my mom thinks that my sister throws all this fucking money at me and that that's why I side with her. No, I side with whoever's right. And I and my sister, both my sister in laws can tell you that too because I always tell them, I don't care if you guys are having some type of feud with my brothers. Don't think that just because that's my brother, I'm gonna side with him. If they're wrong, they're wrong. If you're right, I'm gonna side with you. If yeah. they're right, I'm gonna side with them. You know. And since you wanted to bring that up, I will tell you why I changed with my mom. Okay. Because she said that ever since I picked, I came back, oh, and she said this, and four different people have fucking said it to me. Maldita la hora en que esa perra regresó al valle. Maldita la hora porque nomás vino a arruinar todo lo que yo tenía with her. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. And so since she wanted to talk about, about me when I fucking had nothing to fucking do with this, no. I will tell you why I started distancing myself with my mom. And I started doing it when I was in Virginia. Um, so I got out of the military in August of 2020, 20? 20, 20. Mm -hmm. August of 2020. Um, so before I got out, which would have been like in April, maybe end of March, April, um, I had been suffering from really bad headaches. You know, I get really bad migraines. So before I was diagnosed, before I knew the root of why I was having all these problems, um, in March of 2020, este, they did a couple of MRIs, contrast MRIs, and they found out that I have a small brain tumor. So from that brain tumor, you know, side effects, like with any other health issue that you have, there's yeah. side effects. So, um, so I had that, I have that tumor still, um, you know, and some of the, some of the side effects were, di they're different on everybody, but you know, anybody could look them up and you could see the side effects. So anyway, Side effects from that uh, include a moon face, a round face, a fat face, whatever you want to call it. A uh, moon face, your arms could get big, your belly could get big, your hips could enlarge, your legs could get, you know, thick. Um, you could lose your shape in your neck, whatever. So that's some of the side effects. Yeah. So before I came back, um, <laughs> it's the... I told them, you know, I was like, I have a brain tumor, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Again, nobody knew. He took it to social media and, you know, posted on social media. Oh, my daughter, tiene da, 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 da. 
please pray for my daughter. Like, you know, she has found out that she has a brain tumor. Like, why are you talking about my personal stuff? Like, yeah. I, don't, I told you and my family and that's it because it's nobody's business. So anyway, all that happened. And, you know, I started gaining weight. I didn't understand why I was gaining weight, you know, in certain areas. Um, until after I found out that I had the brain tumor and you know that those are some of the side effects. So my arms did get big. My arms got big. Um, my face got rounder. I have a naturally round face, but around that time, my face got even more rounder. My yeah. arms got big and I, like I said, um, my, even my neck started to like swell up. So, you know, my mom, instead of asking me like, hey, are you okay? Like, how are you feeling? Like, you know, what are your side effects? Like, what can happen to you? No. Instead of fucking asking me like just anything at all about what I had going on, um, she goes to numerous people, you know, she was one of them and said to her, oh, ya miraste que horrible se está poniendo? Tiene toda la pinche cara de papa, los brazotes de luchadora, toda gorda como su familia de su papá. Oh. Yeah. Like, really? You know? That's really? crazy. And she, she said it too. She said that to three different people. Mm -hmm. You know? And the one that hurt me the most when, when they told me was her. Because she was bawling her fucking eyes out. You know, she was like, bro, you're her daughter. Like, how, I don't how know, as, like, a mom. as a mom, like, how do you express yourself that way about your daughter? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, how are you feeling? Like, what do you feel? Like, how can I help you? How can we as your family help you? Yeah. You know? Like, and, and I will tell you, and, and I don't think that I, I, I don't think that, that anything else happened between there because at that point like i started distancing distancing myself from her and she noticed it because you know uh primero it was all oh, desde que se metió al you know the army se hizo bien perra culera like no oh, God, you know I'm me sure. joining the military opened my eyes about a lot of things you know okay. and what yeah. you mean people was one of my biggest fucking eye openers mm -hmm. so you know what i mean if she if i started distancing myself it was because of things that i would see you yeah know? Um, there's just a lot there, that has yeah. gone on, like a lot, and there's a lot that we also haven't said too. Like it's like, it's a lot. Like, so how does your mom treat? Because you have kids, right, Cindy? Yeah. So how does your mom treat your kids? Well, my mom. The thing is, is that when we stopped talking, like she wouldn't look for them, or she wouldn't ask for them. I wouldn't look for her. I wouldn't look for her to for my kids to go over there. Yes. Um, always, always since I lived in her house, like she was always good to the kids. Like she helped me a lot with them. She did, you know, like, I'm not even going to sit here and say that she didn't like, she always, when I lived with her, like she was always there and she helped, but she fails to tell people that like, I've also helped her too. You know, there's things that there's good things that I've also done with her in the very beginning before yeah. we even went into like not talking for years. Um, I would help her. Like I helped her build her porch in her house. I bought my stepdad a car for work. Um, like one of those little, you know, little cars to get me back and forth. Like I used to do a lot of things for my mom and I noticed that my mom was never grateful for them. And like yeah. every time you did something for her, like she always expected more and you could be good with her today that you're doing something good for her tomorrow. If you're not like, she's just not Aww. good with you. And it's a trace of like how my mom was that it eventually got to the point where like, I just, I eventually got to the point where I didn't need her that much anymore, you know? And I think she hates that absolutely because for the longest time, yeah, she helped me, but tell her to tell you how many times, you know, throughout all that help, you know what I mean? How many times I would literally be, how many times she would fight with me and be like, me traigas a los niños, ni me los traigas para acá, yo no te los voy a cuidar, figure out who the fuck is going to help you, figure out what the fuck to do with yourself because I'm not knowing that I had to go to work the next day at 9 a.m. And I always paid her and I always gave her money. Every, like when I lived with her, I always paid my rent with her. Like my mom never let us do anything for free. For free. Like never, like we always had to pay up some way, somehow. So it's sad to hear her say like, I was there and I, yeah, but everything that you put us through to be there for us, like you don't yeah. talk about, you know? And it's a very sad situation, but it's my reality. I know people are like, oh, why are you talking about this? Why are you guys bringing it to social media? My mom's the one that fucking started that from the very fucking beginning. And unfortunately, it's my reality. And I do social media and I always like present to you guys what I go through 
all the time, whether it's good, bad, happy moments, sad moments. And this is just what the fuck we have going on right now. Like, I'm yeah. sorry. It's my truth. Like, I'm sorry that I finally want to fucking open up and fucking tell people who the fuck my mom really is to us. You know, I don't think it's wrong. I think if anything, it'll help a lot of fucking people because a lot of people go through the same shit with their parents. Yeah. You know, and a lot of people have narcissistic fucking parents. My mom is a narcissist. Like, she really is. Like, whether she wants to see it or believe it, like, she really is, you know, and it's just it's a fucking sad unfortunate situation but it wasn't just with social media this has been going on since we were little it's yeah so uh people here are spamming i don't know if this is someone we're not supposed to talk about either but they're saying lola's son what's that about so she my mom took advantage of the fact that she took advantage of the fact that her and i were having an issue and just literally started spilling tea all around you know uh-huh. and i'm i'm gonna say something sister and when you're growing up my nephew's 20 when you're growing up you fucking put yourself through things you know what i mean like you drink too much and you're out too much and you're doing things you're not supposed to and unfortunately we have run across my nephew like just not being how he should be and it was something that we had conversations with him about my mom about and i would tell my mom like why do you have him over there if you know he's not doing good bring yeah. him home. and he's not a bad kid send him, home. send him home you know like you don't need to have him there overnight having him on the seat like that it's not good for him then they start drinking and driving and start doing all kinds of shit like help him get his shit together but she doesn't say that because my mom wants to paint it as like i'm so fucking tired of my sister and i'm so fucking tired of, of my nephew and i want them out of my house because I don't think she wants me and my sister to genuinely have no, a good relationship. She, she, she doesn't, doesn't like it. No. Yeah. Her because she's never, my mom has never, ever since I could remember, and I know that my sister talked about this earlier, but ever since I could remember, you know, anytime any problems would arise between her and my sister, like she would block us from having any type of communication, any type of anything with my tia, you know? And for me, um, my tia, what is she like? Eight, I, I think she's like eight years older than me. Maybe yeah. Two. You know, so for me, she was the big sister that I never had. You know, she was a big sister for me. Like, you know, she lived with us. She moved in with us when she was 13, you know, and she would get mad at her or have whatever disagreements would kick my tia out because I remember that shit. I remember that. She would kick my tia out, le echaba sus cositas a la calle, you know, and you guys are not going to talk to her because da 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 for whatever reason. So siempre hacía eso. You know, and so she like, expects us to like be the same, you know, mm-hmm. like if we're, if we have a, a problem with either Karina or my nephew or whatever, she we can't even talk to her fight. about it because of that. Yeah. No, she like, wants us to fight. She wants us, I think my mom in her eyes or in her mind, because she's never been able to have a relationship with her brothers and sisters. She wants us to do nobody. the same. And I feel like because of that, like she wants us to always be in, get it, get up with us. For us to fight you know what i mean instead like, of wanting us to be good like and and i told her this and she could fucking say it back to you i told her this i said mom like you as a mother okay i have one child but you as a mother i was in your shoes and i see that my grown children all get along are all there for each other support each other lift each other fucking up when they need it like you as a mother, how, how do you not feel pride? Because me, if that was me in your shoes, I would be fucking winning already. Because I did something right with my kids. Yeah. Because I fucking taught them the right from wrong. Because I showed them how to fucking be with each other the same way that I've never been able to be with my family, with my brothers and my sisters. Yeah. You know? And I said, I, I don't know how you see things, but me, like I would be winning already. Just to know that my kids get along, that my kids are there for each other. Or like, even if we live together, like, why does she have to bring that up and say, like, get her out of there already, like, oh. get her out of there. And she literally, she texted me yesterday and she was like, and you're going to fuck her off already too. She's like, so you may as well do it, do it now, like, stop wasting her time. Like, she's just very much putting it out there that she just does not like the fact yeah, that we together. Yeah, and by together. the way, for those of you guys that are wondering, okay, I live here with my sister. Yes, I live here with my sister, but I pay my rent. I pay my sister my rent. I help my sister. My sister helps me. We help each other. Yeah. You know? Like, it's always like a, you do this for me. And, you know, we help each other, bro. Like, there's not like a, I'm just right here esperando a ver what my sister's going to give me today or what she's going to feed me today. Like, no, it doesn't work like that. And I don't know what goes through my mom's head. Like, 
but to answer the question of of my nephew like yeah we encountered an issue with him and we talked to my mom about it and i went and i told my mom like you need to fucking help him get his shit together yeah um, i talked to my sister about the same thing you know like he needs to just get his shit together and my mom just brutally put it out there to the internet because she wants to paint me as like as like this person that like of course every family has issues any home has issues like you're, you're not gonna have like this perfect ass like household and no problems and you're never gonna encounter like especially when there's kids involved you know like there's always they're always gonna do something or like you know what i mean and i just kind of feel like <sighs> so to kind of finalize this i know you have a lot more to say but my question is um have you guys ever tried like a family therapy has, has she ever been interested in that like all you guys together in one she's never she's never wanted to she's taken it as an insult like when we told her like i told her mom like you really need help mentally and i told her that yesterday and like nicely i was like you really need help mentally and fuck so maybe we do too you know what i mean like this yeah. is a fucking lot it's a big situation i'm not gonna fucking sit here and be like oh i'm off i'm good in the head and you're not like no we probably all fucking need it we've all but we've always said that though like you know like she needs help we need help but telling her that, yeah, like, you know, you're la estás llamando loca, la estás, like, all kinds of stuff that's not even it. Like, you know, like, you could be talking a certain way or, you know, throwing out ideas in, in and one she'll way. And she still take it, like, the wrong way. she lost a twist but I don't a think, thousand fucking twists. I don't, I, sadly, and it's so sad to say, like, I don't think there's any coming back from this. For myself, I speak for myself. I don't know my sister. I don't know my brothers and what they have going on in their life. But it's been so toxic from the very beginning all the way up until now that there's no fixing it. Like, there's no fixing a relationship with someone like that that doesn't want to change like that. You get me? Like, because at least us, no matter everything that she's put us through, like, at least we've still tried and we've still mm -hmm. shown up and been like, mom, like, you know, and I, I have messages like screenshots of me telling her, like, mom, just let yourself be loved and we're going to be good. You know what I mean, and like we give her chances and we put everything behind us and she continues the same cycle of just same always pattern. wanting to have a problem. Like mm -hmm. there always has to be an issue. When I went to when I went to Mexico, um, I didn't text her and told her that I was leaving. And, you know, she texted my brother because my brother left back home. Yeah. At the same time, like my brother Oscar went back home and then I left to Mexico. And she texted him and said, Hijo, ya se fueron. Never texted me, but she expected me to text her, you know. And granted, she had just came back in her life. Like, we're not used to talking to my mom all the time. Like, so I didn't text her. So then came um, New Year's and I texted her and I was like, Mommy, like, um, um, Happy New Year's. You know, like, I love you guys. I, told, I texted her and my stepdad in a group chat. She never responded. And I never told you guys. You know, she never responded. She didn't say Happy New Year's. And this is after the fact that she had gotten the heart attack. And I'm like, bro, why are we still with the same cycle? And then went and told my brother and everybody that I never take her into consideration and that I never try. And that my brother asked her, like, why did you ignore her? Like, she said Happy New Year. Like, why didn't you respond? Oh, she said because she never saw the message. Because she never saw the message. But she did, you know, because my stepdad responded right away. And... It's just a lot of, she had her phone in front of her the entire time. It's like, just a I, lot of little like manipulated things like where she just, she's the type of mom that just wants to be always like, she always wants to be called. She always wants to be taken into consideration. Like she always wants like the attention like from the kids, but she never wants to be the mom back. You get me? Like she never wants to play her role and be like, fuck, I'm going to try with my kids. Let me call my kids. Let me see how they're doing. Like she just, she feels like we owe it to her and that's our mom you know you owe to your parents to a certain extent but i feel like in relationships with anyone and i've always said this like you need to play your role in their life like you can't just expect your kids to be your kids if you're not being a mom to them like you should if you're always yeah. trying to have problems if you're always trying to do all this so it's unfortunately it's it's a lot but yeah damn okay so so there's no coming back after this damn isn't like how do you fix all of this you know like how do you fix all the trauma from the start you, you just you can't anymore like you, you just can't but yeah damn see people start saying i'm not sure if she's on live but people are saying that she's on live but oh my goodness okay well uh cindy i appreciate you for giving me the time today i have all my notes here i was trying to get everything i'm sure like i said you probably do have a lot more to say um it's just you know you probably have to bottle or think of everything but uh, I hope you guys do figure this out. You know what I'm saying? You and Miss uh, Lola, nice to meet you there, uh, pink lady. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys situate this, okay? Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you.